We're now at General Services, and uh, Councilman Pridemore is with us. And Nancy, if you could introduce yourself and your colleagues and then make a brief budget presentation. Okay. Thank you, Mayor. I'm Nancy Whittemore, Director of General Services. Uh, with me at the table is Diana Atwood, our Financial Manager. And in the audience, we have Velvet Hunter and Robert Barlow from Administration. Diana Stevens from Building Operations, Jody Kleinard from Radio Communication, and Stacy Wall from Fleet Management. Um, what I'd like to do is talk a little bit, just uh, high level, our budget's pretty straightforward this year, but we did submit a budget that reflects a 3% budget reduction in services in the amount of $1.2 million. It also reflects budget improvements totaling $2.5 million. The budget improvement request uh, includes funding to offset 80% cost increase in parts that we've had that we've seen over the past five years in in the area of fleet. This is mainly because of rising prices around tires, oil, and batteries. Uh, we've also included operating costs for additional vehicles that are being requested by police, OEM, public works, codes, parks, the district attorney, and the sheriff's office. Uh, if those, if those uh, additions are approved, plus some other additions that we've had this year, then we would need additional two additional FTEs for mechanics. Uh, by contract, there are escalation clauses in radio communications and building operations contracts that need to be honored this year in this next fiscal year. And finally, we're requesting operating costs for the two new fire stations that are currently under construction. I want to go back to a decision you made in 2008 regarding construction and design. Uh, at that time, you moved uh, the function from finance to general services. Uh, by doing this, we have aligned building maintenance with construction and design, and it's allowed us to make informed decisions that impact long-term maintenance costs and life cycles of our buildings and equipment. By having a fully integrated facility management system, we can make informed and very deliberate decisions in regards to the management and maintenance of buildings and the replacement of equipment. Decis these kinds of decisions definitely impact our cost. We are always striving to reduce our operations costs, and currently we're managing 4.5 million square feet with an average of square cost of $4.63. Our energy in action program socket is the medium in which we are using to tell our story and to educate employees and citizens regarding sustainable buildings. We have incorporated the socket program into facilities like libraries and parks, which as we've opened them this year, you've, you've seen some of that, that activity. We've also produced videos that tell the story and those will be available across Metro and Metro 3. In a couple of weeks, you'll be visiting us, we hope, to open our new energy control room that monitors energy use, power generated, and building automation systems. This concentration of live data will assist us in making decisions to improve daily operations. The collection of data on the facilities we manage is very important in determining our high performance, if our high performance buildings are operating within national standards. We also benchmark against non-lead facilities within Metro. For example, in comparing the West Police Precinct to the North uh, Police Precinct, we find that there was a, a savings annual, well, there's an annual cost difference in energy costs of $114,617, just in comparing a lead facility with a non-lead facility. If you look at water consumption, uh, West Police Precinct uh, used 80,000 gallons of water less than, than um, the North Police Precinct. Uh, I want to quickly just go back a few years and talk about the capital projects that, we've, that we have completed. Uh, Fulton Campus, uh, we had the parking garage, Howard Office Building, Lindsley Hall. We had we, three police precincts, West Madison and Midtown Hills, the DNA Lab seven fire halls, and currently we have two more under construction. Highland Heights School, three libraries, uh, Goodlettsville Southeast and, and Bellevue, Douglas Head Start, the Commons, which included the Regional Park, the Library, and the Ford Ice Rink. We've also participated as partners with the construction of the Lentz, Lentz Health Center and the Selfordale Baseball Park. 
You will recall that the first LEED certified building for general services in Metro was the Howard Office Building. Today we have eight LEED Silver Buildings and seven LEED Gold for the, the, um, the um, construction projects that we have managed. Obviously, we're extremely proud of this, of this uh, accomplishment because I recall when you called me and said we want Howard to be LEED uh, certified, and at that time we had already started construction, so it was uh, from where we were then to where we are today is a, 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 a major improvement. In 2008, we had 529 green vehicles in the fleet. Today, we have 1,485 either vehicles or pieces of equipment. The majority of those are flex fuel vehicles, with the remaining being hybrids, electric, CNG, and propane. We are also, we've also replaced, during the same time period, 64% of our fleet. Uh, our fleet is in better shape than it's ever been uh, it, as far as technology and, and, the, um, and keeping our vehicles uh, new. Normally, I would be talking, uh, talking today about um, fuel prices. But it's nice to report that fuel costs are probably at an all-time low um, in, in recent history. Uh, regular unleaded is $1.78, and diesel is $1.58 on today's prices. In the area of radio communication, the $28 million upgrade to the public radio system is now complete. We have a system that is more robust in moving data, and it now offers more, many more capabilities to our police officers, firefighters, and other first responders that use the system. We also have a host of federal, state, and local agencies that are on the metro system as interoperability users, and this continues to grow. It seems like every month we have a request for people wanting on the system. We are working closely with NES and finance in developing our plan to upgrade the non-emergency side of the system for users like NES, Animal Control, Public Works, and Water Services. The old system is no longer supported from a technical standpoint, and parts availability is getting to a critical stage. The request is being made to move this non-emergency side of the system to the P25 platform. I cannot do a budget hearing without talking about eBid Nashville. Uh, Metro's online auction for surplus and excess uh, property continues to be self-sufficient and hugely successful. Since its inception in 2002, sales have exceeded $40 million. For those of you who don't know about eBid, I'm going to put a plug here in. You need to go out to Nashville.gov and check it out. In closing, I'd like to acknowledge the employees of General Services for another great year and for their many accomplishments. They have worked hard behind the scenes so that other departments can be successful at what they do, and I truly appreciate all of them. I'll be happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Well, you had a great year with uh, buildings. Central Police Precinct, Highland Heights, Public <coughs> Health, Midtown Hills, Fort Eye Center, the Commons at the Crossing, uh, including the Southeast Davidson County Library and Community Center, IOD Clinic, Library Archives, Gene Crow Advocacy Center, and the Bellevue Library. And construction's ongoing on Fire Station 19 and 20. And those are projected to be completed this summer? Or? Well, the one off of Charlotte, we're hoping to have that completed in September. Mm -hmm. The one in Green Hills, we've had uh, a little bit of... Early fall. Early fall, yeah. Um, early September. Early September. Uh, and the one in Green Hills, we've had a little bit of delay because of the BZA um, uh, getting that through that committee because of the weather. But we're going to... Uh, you know, I don't know if we can get it on schedule to be done in September, but that will be our goal. Okay. Um, well, very good. I, I understand. So, you have any questions? No. Sorry, I don't have any questions. You guys do a great job. We appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, keep up the good work. And we'll do our best with this. Thank you. Thanks.